Diamond is a model developed by Michael Porter, which has to do with the analysis of a national competitive advantage. If, if the organization, of course, has any benefit or any advantage in terms of the nation in which it operates or it wishes to operate. Certain countries have, let's say, diamonds, which are called national advantages. For example, uh, Italy is very, very well known for its design uh, knowledge. Germany is known for its engineering. Sweden is known for their furniture industry. Greece is known for their tourism industry. So basically every country could be good at something. And the four areas, there's four areas as you can see in this slide, four areas that determine if the country has a national advantage or not. Number one is of course the factor condition. Is that issue that the country is known for, which it probably is good either by luck, by chance, or of course it has know-how in it. So in the example of Germany, Germans are very, very well known for their engineering capabilities. And they were very good at that. They still continue to, to be very good at that. But, it's, but for the example of Greece, Greece, of course, has good tourism or good climate by chance. We didn't make anything in Greece in terms of the, the, the climate. Second area that the country should be good at is, of course, has demand for that. There must be demand in that area. So you may be good for climate, but does anyone want to go to Greece? You may be good in engineering, but does anyone want to buy a car of yours? You may be good in design, but is anyone buying any Dolce Gabbana or Prada or Gucci, uh, let's say, clothes? So that's the second demand. Three is actually competition. There must be a rivalry. You can't just have one uh, clothing store or one designer because competition makes you better. You must have a rivalry in engineering. You must have a Porsche, Audi, Mercedes, all these Volkswagen, the cars, even though some of them, of course, are uh, subsidiary companies of the same group. You must have competition because competition makes you better. And finally, you must have supporting industries. You can't just go to, to Greece for tourism uh, and, and not have somewhere to eat uh, or find a canteen or get a coffee or ha have accommodation or actually get a taxi to go somewhere. So you must have these four areas. And in many cases, many countries could have a national diamond, as we call it. And of course, that affects the business that operates in that country because you can take advantage of it in a good sense.